Hello mga katambay, your rocker brother here to light up the moment. We'll be singing for you two songs. Uh, these songs, uh, they have, when you try to look into the meaning of the songs, there is some Christian meanings on the songs. The first song would be Forever Young. Then the second one would be uh, Learn to Fly from Foo Fighters. With, the, with regards to the first song, it talks about wanting to live in eternity. And what's, what's the best way to live in eternity than to live in God? Because in God, we, our beauty is renewed, our youth is renewed when we are in God. So that's the meaning of forever young. And then for the second song, the Learn to Fly, it talks about the struggle of wanting to take on the right path and to, to have this hope that despite of the struggle, we can still learn, learn how to overcome all these obstacles. We learn to struggle and we will enjoy the struggle because we know that there's hope, especially in this time of pandemic, we will learn how to fly through our problems and our difficulties in these uh, trying times. So without further ado, uh, here we go. go. Let's dance and style, let's dance for a while. Heaven can wait, we're all never in disguise. Open for the best, but expecting the worst. Are you gonna drop the bomb or not? Let us die young and let us live forever We don't have the power but we never say never Sitting in a sandpit, life is a short trip The music's for the sad man Can you imagine when this race is won? Turn our golden faces into the sun Praising the leaders who getting in tune The music's played by the madman Forever young, I want to be Run and tell all of the angels that this could take all night. Think I need a devil to help me get things right. Hook me up on your revolution, cause this one is a lie. We sat around laughing and watched the last one die. I'm looking for this guy to save me. Looking for a sign of life Looking for something to help me burn out bright I'm looking for a complication I'm looking cause I'm tired of lying Make my way back home when I learn to fly Make my way back home when I learn to fly Make my way back home when I learn to fly. All right. Hello, my dear young people. Where are you now? How are you doing now? We're hoping that you're doing well in this time of pandemic. The men in brown are trying to reach you out there through our simple series of reflections and prayers. Let's begin by reflecting on the letter of Pope Francis to the youth of the world. Christus vivit. Christ is alive. In this modern world, we have so many challenges that we are facing now. Many negative situations that will weaken our hope, especially the hope of our society, our dear young people. 
We usually hear or even say that our youth is the hope of our future. Now we can ask, how is our youth in this time of pandemic? What are they doing? May this reflection reach out to them that they may realize that once there is life, there will always be hope. In the chap chapter 2 of Christus Vivid, it states that Jesus is young among the young in order to be an example for the young and to consecrate them to the Lord. Jesus in his younger years was already consecrated to the Lord. Like for us young people, we have the duties or choice to offer our lives to God, to become part of the mission of the church. In our youthfulness, we have the capacity to be more active in the church. We have talents, energies, creativities, and resourcefulness to make the church alive. Furthermore, from what the Gospel tells us, we can say that Jesus, in the years of His youth, was training, being prepared to carry out the Father's plan. His adolescence and His youth set Him on the path to that sublime mission. From the start of the life of Jesus, He has already a training in preparation for His mystery of redemption. I believe that just like us, Jesus also lived an ordinary life. I hope that we will get inspired by Jesus to develop ourselves and prepare our life of our different missions in this life, especially in this pandemic. My dear young people, though we have limited time and space to roam around outside because of the virus, hopefully we are still trying to connect ourselves to God by nourishing our spiritual life through the habit of praying. Though we cannot do our missions outside, let us be aware that our mission will start at home. Our mission to our family, the domestic church. Our family is the beginning where we grow in many values. We have responsibilities to take care of our parents, to become obedient to them for the sake of our common good. Love them and accept the kind of family that we have. That is a good start to begin our mission in our family. That they will also grow in their spiritual life and draw them closer to God, especially in prayer. It is commonly said, the family that prays together stays together. I believe that it's very challenging for us now to be effective pastors in our pastoral work or mission if we are isolated in every life of our family. So my dear young people out there, let's always have the spirit. There is hope. Christ is alive. Dear Jesus, our model for the youth, we thank you for the gift of our young people. May you continue to bless them that they may have an open heart to offer their lives to you. Bless our young people that they may recognize their mission in this world and in the church, especially to their families, that they may grow in Christian values. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.